Yes, the perfect ram. Oh, damn it all. How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Moonlighter, a game that I backed right like the second that I heard about it. It just sounded incredible. It's an action RPG with roguelite elements. It's about a shopkeeper who has dreams of becoming a hero himself. Everything about it just added up to sounding absolutely great and I just was immediately won over by the art style. I've been desperately waiting for the beta to start for backers. And I woke up, and today was the day! It just suddenly was starting. I'm very excited to finally give it a shot. Looks like right now I'm just wielding like a broom. I guess that all I get to do is sweep things. I don't know if a lot of the game actually takes place in the shop. I mean, there's spots to place items, but I don't really have anything to place. Ah, it's not just my broom, it's my broom spear, so it will be capable of doing damage. Oh man, this all just looks so good! Now I get to go in search of things to actually sell? Oh, here we go, now I can use things. I, I just wanted to sweep in my shop before. Whoa, look at that big charging attack. Should I use it on this old man? Maybe I should charge this old man. Oh, you just fly right past him. My shop was looking a little dirty. I wanted to be able to sweep up my shop while I was in there. Xenon, this town has seen better days, especially when your grandpa opened his shop. The good times for merchants are gone, boy. Oh, well that's depressing. Maybe now is a terrible time to become a merchant. Ooh, maybe I can buy things and then flip them. But I also have zero gold. Love retailer. Spear for noobs in video game demos. <laughs> Should I craft it? It costs nothing. Perfect. Now I can dual wield. You can see the top right there, I'm switching between my different items and either way it's just this broom thing. <laughs> Here's the place that people put hats, apparently. Renoka may not be as prosperous as it used to be. Nevertheless, a lot of us come to visit it and get a souvenir from the dungeons. Ooh, I should head to the dungeons then. It's said that even if heroes are braver than merchants, the latter reach farther and deeper places in the dungeons. I think it's because you make a living that way, so it's a necessity. Hope next time I visit Rhinoka, I find cheaper items and new exciting ones. They also said rich further, but I, I figured it out that it meant reach. Uh, I don't think I- this seems like a tame slime. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to kill it. Maybe I should put that shitty broom for sale in my shop and open up. Mori! Items found in chests are known as culture items because they seem to have been used by other civilizations. A lot of heroes buy foundry rests and iron bars so they can craft better equipment. Well, I think I want to go in search of things to go stick in my shop then. I see all these other merchants all over the place. I'm quite jealous that I don't have anything of my own to sell. Oh, I can't get in yet. Is that four different keys? I must, I must have to take on various dungeons. Ooh, like this entrance. So there's four different, like, dungeon variants to go through that I guess will provide me the four different keys. So for now, all I can go into is this one. Ooh, <laughs> sucked me right into a portal. I thought maybe that was just goop. The Golem Dungeon. I think the Golem Dungeon might be all that you can do in the, in the beta right now. Oh no, I don't have good items. This is going to be difficult. Oh, okay, I was accidentally doing my wind-up. Okay, the, the red stuff just slows you down. I was worried it would do damage as well. Oh, stupid slimes. You're much stronger than you should be. Come on, get out of here. I'm gonna have to ram this guy. Get back here so I can ram you. Perfect. Damn it, I missed. <laughs> I'll just give him some poke stabs then. And hopefully something drops uh, an actual item. Oh, is there a sword in the goo over there? I can't... Oh, I think that's just kind of like a doodad in the background. I don't think that's actually something I can pick up. I don't care if it's a little goopy and it has like some, I don't know, seaweedy looking bits on it. I would pick that up and use it. I'm just trying to bash things with a broom for crying out loud. Oh, this looks promising. Oh, I broke that table. I should have been selling that table. In I go. Oh good, it just heals me. But it probably also like stole my soul or something. I don't believe that a random fountain like that would be nothing but good for me. I keep 
I'll, I wish I could grab some of these. Oh no, oh no, I'm getting sucked up by the slime. I wish I could grab these little swords that are like over here. They, they could be useful for my shop. Someone out there would buy them. I don't care if it's for like one gold. I'm stone broke right now. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Shit, I really assumed that you wouldn't be able to fall off the edge. I'm going on like Isaac logic there. There's no actual edges you can fall off of in Isaac, and it was feeling very familiar to that. Oh. So what do I have so far? I got rich jelly, teeth stone, and iron bars. Hey, that dude said people would be willing to buy crafting material, so I can always sell some of that, but maybe I can also use it to craft some of my own stuff. Oh! Damn, I don't think I want to go down a level right now, especially since I can't go back up. And I don't know what happens when I die. Not if, like when. I'm for sure going to die. Oh, I got really lucky there that I wasn't standing on the part that faded away underneath me. Oh shit, I was hoping that these guys would just quit once uh, the other enemies in the dungeon had been defeated. Oh, there you go, you just gotta dodge in between them. Oh no, these guys look so tough. I don't wanna, ah, uh, no. Oh, a chest. Please let me live to get the chest. I just want to find out what I can find in a chest. Stupid, stupid spear, you're a terrible weapon. Oh, stupid golems. Death by misadventure. Oh, I killed 17 things, zero chests opened. I had a handful of things on me, nothing in my backpack. Oh wait, if I go back to town, can I put some of the stuff up for sale? Is that how that's gonna work? Oh good. Okay. It didn't just spit my corpse out to be dead forever. <laughs> well, let's go see if maybe we can craft something of actual use. Ah, but it's nighttime. Is everything just gonna be all closed down now? Redmond! People say there are less and less items to be found in the Golem Dungeon. Oh, maybe that's why there's useless crap everywhere. All the good stuff's been picked over. People in Rhinoka are so used to dungeon items that they have become part of our lives and food. What is the Merchant Mirror? If I put something in there, what happens? What did I just do? Oh, I sold it. Okay. I think I'm okay with that. We'll put those up for sale for three each. I have no idea. I'm just going to throw stuff up for sale just to see how this works. There. There's going to be my shop. I just want to see how well things sell. Now that I've tried a little bit of the dungeon life, I want to see how the shopkeeper side of things operates. So come on in, everyone. Please, please look at my wares. Let me know if they're appropriately priced. Please don't just buy everything up instantaneously. Oh, no. I feel like I sold that for far too cheap. Oh, this was terrible! I feel like I sold things for much too little. Hmm, well, everyone just bought everything up, like, instantaneously, so my guess is I was selling it for maybe a little bit too cheap. I mean, I guess I made off with a little bit of gold. So long, everyone, you may leave now. I don't, I don't want any of you here. So, closed up for the day, sorry, sorry. <laughs> My inner Canadian's coming out. I'm getting very apologetic to these video game characters. I should go maybe take a look at someone else's shop and see how much they're selling this stuff for. Oh, jeez. This stuff costs like 4,000 gold? Well, maybe selling the different pieces that result in that armor for like 2 gold was a big mistake. He's selling his rich jelly for 12. And this stuff for 62 and 12. Oh, nuts. Yep, I got ripped off. Well, it was just my opening day of the shop to get some positive buzz surrounding surrounding my wares, to get people interested, you know? Tomo. People used to think items were generated in the dungeons, but the recent decrease in the number of items found suggests they are a limited resource. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Like wood or coal or whatever, finding swords and armor and, and pieces of iron and stuff is a limited resource. God, everything is super expensive. All right, all right, my mistake. All right, well, hopefully this time we just, like, find a sword or something, because I don't really want to fight things with this shitty spear the whole time. Oh, I forgot to put my shitty spear up for sale. I have two of them, after all. 
There's shelves full of things, but it doesn't look like I can actually interact with them or do anything. Oh, there's like a poster on that wall too that I wanted to try and check on. Stay away! Oh, a chest! An actual chest! It's not a gold chest, mind you, like that last one I found, which is unfortunate that I I missed that one. Damn you, pushing me over the edge. I really should have just I should just gun it for the chest. Oh, I I think I have to clear the clear the level before I can properly open them. There we go, I'm getting all kinds of iron pieces and, and the like. And now I know what to actually sell them for. No! All that guy's stuff ended up going over the edge. I managed to get a little bit of it. I got a golem core and crystallized energy. At least I got some of it. Alright, let's see what we got in the chest here. There are some foundry rests. This item can only be placed in the top or bottom parts of the bag. Aren't those the only two things? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I see what it means. That's inconvenient and, and strange. Oh, again. So maybe just these, like, scrap pieces. Remains of an old foundry used for metal smelting. Oh, they're selling reactions. Oh, that's so useful for me. <laughs> yeah, at two dollars, people were like, no way. I mean, I guess I take it. I, I, I'll just take what I can get at this point. I don't really know what if it's going to be valuable, what exactly I can use all of it for. If finding... If finding equipment in the dungeon is becoming a limiting resource, then it seems like crafting is the way of the future. That you'll just need to find parts of things to craft for later on. Ooh, that was a hell of a dash that I just pulled off there. And I got some good old twigs for it. Twigs like, like you've never seen. One of a kind twigs here. Twigs for sale, sturdy twigs. Long, brown, and sticky, sticky sticks. People come from all across the land to view my wondrous sticks. I feel like I'm just kind of shooing something away, like chasing it away, like uh, the neighbor dog who, who always shits on your lawn and you wave him away with your broom, like, shoo shoo, get out of here. Didn't realize they could be so deadly. Oh, I, I managed to spear it. Good for me <laughs> for finding that out that I could acquire it with my with my trusty reach of a broom. Damn, right in between them. Not a great jouster. I mean, I'm barely an adventurer. I'm a merchant for crying out loud. Oh, nice. More pieces of a weird tree creature. Right in between again. God, I'm bad at that. Probably just stick to spamming this main attack in that case, since it seems to be the only one that works out for me. So now we got some roots and vines to be sold. I should make better use of rolling. I think I can get past this stuff through rolling. Yeah, that's what I need to be focusing on. Yes! The perfect ram- oh! Damn it all! I fucking just got bashed just a couple times right in a row there. Oh, and you lose things that are in your backpack. I was- all those X's out from last time, I wasn't sure if that meant I was gonna lose them, or if that meant that, uh, that I just didn't have anything to begin with. So that sucks. I thought that- I was worried that that was gonna be the case. I think I'm gonna rest up, and then in the morning I'm gonna go look around at other shopkeepers and get a sense of maybe what it takes to craft a real weapon. Oh, there's also bulletin boards here to look at. Can I hire these people? There's the Vulcan's Forge, the Wooden Hat, and the Retailier. Oh, wow, look at all these shop upgrades. Oh, all these different things I can buy, and they're only like 100 gold each. They're not actually that expensive on a scale. So maybe I should be saving up for shop upgrades. This is very expensive gold-wise, but doesn't actually take a lot of material. I wonder if I have to find these recipes or if they just unlock afterwards. I think in that case I can pretty safely put my wares up for sale. So I can start saving up some gold to put towards actually being able to afford some of that stuff. Because I'll be able to find the materials for it relatively easily. Oh, wait a minute. Does that mean they're going for a dollar each if I do that? Let me... I'm going to play around with prices a lot here. Alright, I'm selling things fairly expensively, and we'll see how that goes over with some customers. 
My guess is that most of the stuff won't sell now, but I'd like to get a, a better reference point than just totally guessing. See how happy people are with these prices? For 20 gold, that guy was still so pumped. I, he, I think he bought all 7 for 20 gold, though. Yeah, that's my mistake. You need to be, like, selling this stuff individually. 50? Come on, 50? Oh, that's still a bargain. That's still a steal. God damn. Oh, I can be jacking my prices up so much higher. These guys are willing to buy everything. Ooh, I like this guy. He reminds me of, like, Aragorn or something. I don't like that guy in the top hat, though. I don't want that kind of pompous clientele in my shop. Alright, I got I got a decent amount of gold. I just want to go buy an upgrade. Just, just to try it out. It'll be a nice way to round out the episode, maybe. Hmm, I can't get any of this right now, so they must have some prerequisites. God damn, I really should be going to this guy to see what he's selling things for. These things are going for hundreds. Well, now I know. If he's selling a silly broken sword for that much, then I can do that too. He was selling it for three seventy-five. dollars I'm going to undercut that son of a bitch. I'm going to open my store, and then with that one sale, I'm basically going to triple the amount of money that I have. You there, the one who's fully armored and has an awesome padding and, and a full sword and everything, you clearly need this this broken sword, don't you? Oh, dreadful, dreadful pricing. Oh, oh, but not all is lost. I can still sell my precious broom spear. I'm only asking, it was only free, but I'm I'm only asking 10 whole dollars, dollars for it. It's hardly a markup at all. You're paying for the fact that it's, it's battle tested. Wow, everyone really hates these prices. Well, it's not easy being a shopkeeper. All these sad, sad faces. Alright, I'm sick of disappointing everyone. Everyone get the hell out of my shop. I'm going to bed, and next time I'll go in search of better things to sell, and I'll, I'll reprice things accordingly to try and fit this demand. I thought 300 and some dollars for a broken sword was a fair price, but apparently not everyone else thinks so. I'm looking forward to testing out more of this game. I'm looking forward to having something other than a broom to hit things with. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.